Whew. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Doing something I kind of like. <laughs> uh, testing out tackle. This is a budget uh, setup I put together. This is uh, down here, whatever the heck this is. This is some kind of brackish saltwater thing. I've never caught anything respectable in this place. Never. Uh, far, further north, I've caught plenty of big fish. Down here, not so good. So, I, I wanted to build up something for crappies and trout. It's strange. And, and this, this rig will work on, on both fish because it's light. This happens to be a seven-foot uh, ugly stick. Where is it? Ugly stick. I can't even see. Is that right side up? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Shakespeare Ugly Stick Elite. Seven foot. Ultralight. Which, probably two years ago, you wouldn't be seeing this stuff. BFS. Bait Finesse System. BFS. That's what this is supposed to be so the rod budget to me is something that's affordable and reliable okay the, the reliability counts if you spend $29 on a reel and it falls apart after two casts that's not budget that's throwing the money in the toilet this company oh uh, this is a uh I can't even say the name. Who made this one? Here it is. Yeah, couldn't have picked a worse name. Pissafun. Pissafun Spark Pro. Uh, eight eight to one retrieve ratio, which is very fast, so, especially for conventionals nowadays. Con conventionals are really amazing reels. I prefer these over spinning in a lot of situations. They're just little miniature winches. That's what they are. You don't get line twist because it's spooling directly onto the spool. It's not, you don't have that uh, rotating uh, bail like you have on a spinning reel, which every time that spinning reel turns over, you throw one, one twist on the line. That's what causes all the backlashes and your line to get all kinked up. And so I, I, I really like my bait casting stuff. Like it a lot. Uh, this one's got, uh, I believe they, they listed this as having six ball bearings in it, which is set, set, uh, a ball bearing is, is one ball bearing. So it not one ball, one bearing. So, there's six separate bearings in here. They also threw in a little carbon fiber uh, handle, which, you know, it's nice. But what you see on the outside of a reel, that's not the technology that's on the inside of the reel. So if you see some bling on the outside, it, they're shorting you on the inside someplace. The line I use, I, I try to use decent line. Uh, I mean, that really counts, especially when you're talking light lines like this four-pound test. And this, this one happens to have magnetic uh, brakes, line brakes on it. So what happens when you cast, the magnetics, the mags interface, inter interfere with each other, and it causes the spool to slow down, which prevents backlashes, so... And I only brought here, this is what I brought with me today. Little little 3 16th ounce drop shot. <clears throat> Wait. Nothing. I didn't bring hooks or nothing. I don't know. What the heck? I came out here to test this. <clears throat> it was a decent day out here. Sort of decent. Sitting under a tree. Probably one of the only shade trees you could sit under in the area. So this company, I bought, I don't know, I think I got two reels from them. They're all right. Uh, I have 
a spinning reel from them. Uh, it's called a uh, uh, Pro 2000 spinning reel. It's beautiful. I was surprised when I opened the box how nice it was. It's just a beautiful reel. Still sitting up in my uh, apartment. Color scheme on here is nice. And you can see... Ugly stick. Not the best rods in the world. Probably, probably uh, more people buy these than they buy anything. Uh, there's a lot of these around. And I guess it's because they're reliable. They take a little bit of abuse. I never abuse the tackle. I never know when I'm going to hook into something big. And I don't need stuff falling apart when I got a decent fish on the line. Anyway, just wanted to take the time to say hello to all of you. Thank all of my subs. Uh, thank you for the support. Glad to see uh, Joe is back up and running. Uh, New Jersey Exposed has been busy. James Freeman has been putting out the videos. Stop by and check his site. Crazy good content. Uh, Anyway, I was able to walk a little bit today, so I got out. And this is only a couple blocks from my house. No, it's not paradise. It, 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 if there's water there, it doesn't mean there's fish there. So, <laughs> and this place is notorious for no fish. So, I'm like Papillon on uh, Devil's Island, water all around me, and uh, I can't fish it, I, do, I, I don't choose to. to, to again, the, the, the fish we see here are eels, crabs, and snapper bluefish, and that's it, and that's seasonal. Eel, eels, I, I guess you could probably catch them all year. Uh, the blues, the bluefish, the snapper blues, they're very, very, very seasonal. A couple months of the year, that's it. And the crab, same thing, a couple months of the year, that's it. You fish fresh water, you're fishing all year. You can catch big fish all year. All different types. Walleye, muskie, bass, largemouth, smallmouth, crappie, trout, catfish, sunfish, eels. Frogs, big frogs. You don't know how many big frogs I've taken on bass tackle. Re released everything. The, the, the frogs I should have kept and eaten them. Oh, that's such a delicacy. Anyway, sorry to get off track here. But I uh, just wanted to stop in and say hello. A little sparrow coming over to check me out. Cool. Anyway, folks, have a safe weekend. Keep your eyes open. Thanks again for all the support, guys. Thank you very much. Also, if you get a chance, uh, pop by Johnny50, his uh, site. Give him a little support. He's one of the, uh, the grandfathers of this accountability thing, so... He, he could really use the help right now. I'll see if I if I can. I'll put the uh, link to his video in the uh, whatever the heck they call description, whatever the heck. I'm learning how to do this stuff a little bit better. I'm going on 70, and I was never into computers. It was always the fishing first thing. So. Thank you again, folks. Talk to you later. Let me see if I could... Oh, yeah, the Steven Spielberg thing. Tide is up right now. Got a nice slight breeze. Got a slight breeze here. Thanks again, folks. Play safe.